What is up guys? It is your boy Tang An back at it again with another video and today we got this whole wide green field artificial turf to ourselves boys and today I'm just gonna be taking you guys through a little bit of a crossing session since now I have been deployed at the left back position for my new 11 aside team which I will make a video about later but yeah guys full crossing training session today for left backs let's get into it All right, boys and girls, now for the first drill, it's just gonna be a short range static cross from my left foot. I'm gonna move onto my left foot later, but here we're just putting the ball onto the penalty spot and I'm just trying to replicate that, I guess, crossing motion where I'm trying to, you know, bend the ball a bit with my left foot. And I'm really not trying to strike the ball like a shot here. I'm really trying to curl the ball as much as possible and doing it at, with all angles. Moving it to the left, moving it to the right as a cutback cross or going low or going high, both as a flowing cross and a lower cross. Here, I'm gonna move on to my left foot, which as you guys see, is not actually horrible. And I think my left foot's crossing has improved a lot recently due to my you know training consistent training and use of my right foot but still I can't get a lot of power on it and it's still something that I'm trying to work on but the accuracy is definitely improving guys I'm happy seeing it improve the thing with crosses guys is you guys have to be really consistent with it you can't be you know good with one cross and then the next you know fail three or four times in a row. Next up is just gonna be a long range static cross, which is, you know, basically the width of, from the corner spot of the 11 aside pitch to, I guess, the penalty area. And here, all I'm trying to do is, you know, trying to, I guess, work on my crossing form as much as possible, hit it, you know, into the little goal over there and yeah just really really try to get you know a feel for the ball and trying to get the flight of the ball really really good because i want my strikers to really really have a good ball for them to maybe you know hit a volley with maybe take a touchdown and hit the ball or you know head the ball straight into the goal right away and my crossing is definitely one of my biggest strengths on a 11 side pitch so i'm really really trying to refine that strength and make my crossing as consistent as possible and as you guys see you know my left foot is definitely quite decent at these you know static crosses um i'm actually my team's corner taker so you know that definitely means something uh yeah crossing guys Definitely one of my favorite things to train and you know, my left foot is just decent at crossing in general But as you guys see I'm also failing a bunch of times where you know I'm failing to put uh, The ball in the back of the net and I want to show you guys all of my fails as well because you know nobody's perfect I'm not a robot. I can't be perfect a hundred percent of the times guys And you guys shouldn't expect yourself to be perfect as well But you want to refine it and get it as great as possible uh, next up, next drill here is just going to be a dribble to a cross, which is a bit more game realistic where, you know, you're going to have to dribble the ball, push the ball up, and then put the ball in for your forwards. I'm just going to be moving through these three cones here and trying to put a cross in with my left foot again.
All right, guys, last crossing drill of the day, which is just gonna be a long range cutback cross. Um, you know, after two or three crosses in the game with my left foot, my, you know, their opponent right back, who's probably gonna be marking me, is gonna be able to read that, you know, I'm gonna do my left foot, left footed cross again. So, you know, I wanna be able to do something that is a bit unexpected and it's able to, you know, trick their defenders into, you know, I guess just false movement. And here I'm just gonna be practicing the exact same thing, but I'm just gonna try to cut back with my left foot and cross it in with my right foot. Really unexpected. And yeah, just try to beat the defender and trick the defender overall into, you know, believing that I'm gonna cross with my left. But as you guys can see, my right foot is not great at crossing yet. I can't get enough power on it yet. And it's something that still needs improving. Alright guys, on to a few dribbling drills. It's just going to be an Xbox dribbling, dribbling drill. You're going to set up a 3x3 three three box and you're just going to dribble in an X motion between all of the cones, working on your both left and right foot, using both strong and weak foot to dribble. And it's definitely going to improve your close ball control, guys. Yep, second dribbling drill is just going to be a square box dribble, the same exact thing, but you're not going to be moving in an X formation, you're going to be moving in a square formation now. And you're going to go on your left first, which I'm going to be doing, and I'm going to switch to my right right here. So yeah guys, again, I'm preaching and I'm doing what I preach, which is you got to train both feet, guys. You can't be having a weak foot that isn't able to dribble, isn't able to pass or cross at all. You need to train both feet. All right, guys, that is going to be it for today's video. I've been on this pitch just crossing and crossing the ball for about an hour and a half now, and my legs are pretty dang tired. So I'm gonna end the video here. If you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like down below. Comment on what you guys think I could improve on. Can I improve on my technique? What drills should I do? What type of videos should I do next? Leave them all in the comments down below. And also subscribe to my channel if you guys haven't. I would really, really appreciate it, guys. And I gotta go really quick right now because... What the hell? Because I have class, I mean online classes, in about 30 minutes. It's currently 3.30 and I have classes at 4. So I really need to get the hell out of here really quick. Get a shower in and get onto my online classes in Zoom. So yeah guys, see you guys next time. Peace out.